collaborations are really the slipstream for change because you've got groups of people with diverse skills and capabilities and perspectives and opinions coming together uh, and we end up with, you know, an exponential uh, improvement. That's the idea. So we absolutely need collaborations. And, and let's face it, people looking for innovation or invention or change and doing, doing it on their own, uh, they're normally just shouting to the sky or they're in an echo chamber of some sort. It's, it's very, very rare. So we need these collaborations. But to have these sorts of conversations and to push the boundaries that we're talking about, we need leaders, and frankly, it's it's really looking to particularly male leaders uh, in organisations uh, uh, and communities uh, around Australia to be able to create the uh, environments in which people trust and respect everybody else in the collaboration and trust and respect these types of conversations because for challenge to improve to work, it's got to be given in the right way and that is the focus on the issue um, with respect for uh, everyone around the table and a trust uh, that it will be received in the right way. And then, of course, on the other side of the table, you need to receive it um, with that trust and respect as well, to actually listen and to consider uh, and uh, to uh, utilise uh, that. So, again, this is why I think frameworks are important and why it's... it's I hope people use these frameworks because at its basis is setting up the environments uh, or the levers, was it the tentacles you use, the octopus tentacles? Oh, Which of those you can use, sorry, uh, Joe, to be able to create those environments for effective collaborations. And uh, we, we all need more of that. Mm -hmm.